Hey, what's up guys, KSKRL here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update a Pixel ROM Plus Edition to Android 10 without any data loss. So this video is a requested video. Uh, some of the subscribers are actually asking me for a long time to make this video. So anyway guys, finally I got a time to make this video. So first and foremost, the process uh, will not gonna be wipe any kind of internal storage. So all of your data within the internal storage will be safe, but the process may require a clean installation method. So if you are coming from Android 9 to Android 10, you must have to wipe a two partitions, the system partition as well as a data partition. So which means, Currently on the Android 9 ROM, I mean the Pixel ROM Plus Edition, all of the applications will be gone. So just gonna go ahead and back up all of the applications using any kind of APK backup tool and then go ahead and save it somewhere on your internal storage. So don't worry, internal storage will be safe and you don't need to wipe any kind of internal storage. So next thing what you're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and download the latest version of the Pixel ROM Android 10 edition. So as you can see, this is the one which I have downloaded by the time of recording this video. This is the latest version. So the whole process which I will be showing you in a moment will work on any Xiaomi device. You can try it on almost any device like Redmi K20 Pro, Redmi Note 7 Pro and whatever the device you're having. So anyway, so now let me show you the version which I am running by going into settings about phone and you can see Android 9 and uh, as you can see it is having the latest security patch level so November 5th and you can try to tap on the Android version you can see the Android Pie Easter egg so anyway without further ado so first and foremost before doing anything so I recommend you to go to settings just gonna go ahead uh, delete all of the accounts like if you're having a Google accounts or any kind of accounts just gonna go ahead and sign out from all of the accounts just to be on a safer side because if you don't do it and you're gonna run into some encryption issues so also just gonna go to the security and location make sure that you haven't have any kind of a lock screen set on your phone just gonna go ahead and remove all of the things like pins passwords patterns fingerprints face unlock just gonna go ahead and delete all of those things so once you're done just gonna go ahead and reboot your device into a TWRP recovery. So I assume you're already having a TWRP recovery pre-installed on your device. So in order to boot into TWRP recovery mode, first and foremost, what you're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and uh, turn up the phone. You're just gonna go ahead and hold this a uh, power button and then you can see the restart option here. Just gonna go ahead and tap on the restart button. Now once you see the restart button, just gonna go ahead and keep holding the uh, volume up button. So this will gonna be boot your device into a TWRP recovery mode. So when you're inside the TWRP recovery mode, the first thing first, what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna go to this wipe thing. So you can see there is a no any kind of encryption screen appears here because we have removed the lock screen, passwords, fingerprints, everything. So if you don't remove your lock screen, fingerprints, you're gonna see any, I mean, the encryption, I mean, the screen will appear here. So just gonna go ahead and remove the passwords, fingerprints, Google accounts, everything, so that the TWRP will be able to read the data on your phone. Next up, what you're gonna do is, as you can see, I have the ROM, the Android 10 ROM uh, installed, I mean, loaded onto the internal storage. Now, what you're gonna do is, just gonna go click on the wipe, advanced wipe, Delwick cache system data, as you can see, Delvic cache system data, just gonna go ahead and uh, swipe to wipe. Why we are doing this thing is because, you know, we are jumping from Android 9 to Android 10. So technically this requires a clean installation method. So although you can directly flash the Pixel ROM at I mean the Android 10 edition but after booting into Android 10 you can see a lot of uh, issues will gonna be pop out like Google Play services will keep crashing so that's because of incompatible issues so that's why we need to have to wipe the system as well as a data partition so in order to uh, do a clean installation method so anyway so next what you're gonna do is go to the home screen then a select install option and then choose the Beryllium Android 10 zip file. The same thing goes for Redmi K20 Pro, Redmi Note 7, whatever the device you're having. Just gonna go ahead and swipe to confirm flash. So boom, as you can see, actually this ROM is actually flashing without any errors. If you see any kind of errors, like most apparently you're gonna see an error called error seven. 
error 7 is an issue so you can get it if you don't have a valid vendor and firmware binaries pre-installed onto your phone so right now i am i came from miui 11 so miui 11 was the latest version for the pocophone f1 so because all of the vendor and firmware files of miui 11 will be used by the custom roms i mean the latest custom roms the pixel rom havoc edition like whatever the ROM that you're building, so those ROMs rely on the latest vendor and firmware binaries. So just in case if you see any error 7 issues, I'm going to show you how can you create your own vendor and firmware file for your specific Xiaomi device. So switching back to computer. Alright guys, as you can see, this is my Windows PC. Go ahead and check the links in the description box down below. In the first link, we're going to take you to this page where you get to see the Python interpreter page. Just going to go to grab the latest version of the Python interpreter. So this Python interpreter helps us to build our own uh, vendor and firmware file from the latest version of MIUI for any device. So just going to go to this website called a GitHub and then a huge thanks to this developer actually who actually wrote the Python code that lets you extract the vendor and firmware file from specific uh, MIUI version just can you click on the clone or download and uh, click on download zip and save it onto your computer so then go to this a uh, third website uh, where you get to download the latest version of a MIUI so in this case we are looking for the Pocophone F1 so for your specific device just gonna go ahead and look out here then click on search now you can see by the time of recording this video MIUI 11 is the stable ROM so this is the ROM I mean it contains the latest binaries I mean I mean whole thing like whole new things are made into this ROM so using this ROM most of the developers build their custom ROMs just gonna go ahead and download this ROM and save it onto your computer so as you can see it started downloading so let it finish and don't do anything so once it's done downloading all of the files uh, just gonna go ahead and place it on your desktop so you can see you end up downloading it three files this is the file which contains the Python code uh, just gonna go ahead and right click on it and then extract it using any kind of extractor so in this case I'm going to use a WinRAR. Now once it's done extracting, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete that zip file. Then inside this extracted folder, uh, you get to see the main source code uh, which ends with a .py. You can see create a flashable firmware .py uh, which stands for Python. Just going to go ahead and drag it onto your desktop just like that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, rename uh, this file to make it easy to read. Just going to rename it whatever you want. I'm going to rename it as fmake. Then if I see inside this, you can see there's a lot of source code of the Python. Then what you're going to do is just going to go ahead and install the Python uh, interpreter onto your computer. So by right clicking on it and run as administrator. So if you haven't yet set up the Python on your computer, so you have to do this step. Then at the bottom, make sure that uh, you select this option called Add Python 3.8 to Path, which means you will be able to access the Python uh, from anywhere across the computer. So then once it's done, just gonna go ahead and click on Install Now. The installation process may take a little bit of a time, so please be patient and don't do anything. So once it's done, I will be right back with you guys. Alright guys, as you can see the installation was successful. Now to verify if the Python has installed it or not on your computer, just going to get open the CMD or command prompt and type Python and then you can see it's actually entered into the Python shell and then you can also verify it by typing this command called Python dash dash version. That's going to show you the a version of the Python installed onto your computer. So now we are done installing the Python. Next up, this is the main a stable MIUI ROM file. So we're we will be using this file and then we're going to extract the vendor and firmware from that specific uh, recovery uh, zip file so i have moved it onto my computer uh, desktop here so that i can uh, see it very easily and next up what you're going to do is 
uh, just gonna go ahead open up the command prompt uh, just type CMD and then a change directory to the desktop and then type dir so that's going to be list all of the files here so in this case you can see the zip file as well as a dot py file is present here now here type this command called a python and then space fmake.py and then you need to use an option you can use a dash capital V which stands for a vendor and firmware which means we are telling to the Python interpreter that we want to extract both vendor and firmware or you can use a dash capital F for only firmware so in this case we need a both vendor and a firmware file that has to be extracted from the recovery ROM then give the file name just type me UI and then press the tab key to auto complete it so instantly if you press the return key and you can see it start working its job and this is so cool guys you don't need to rely on anybody's uh, third-party repositories you can create yourself your own vendor and a firmware from the latest version of the MIUI and you can extract it by yourself for any Xiaomi device this is very very easiest process that you can do it by yourself so it's gonna take a couple of uh, minutes so don't interrupt anything so after completing this and it's gonna be a spit out a file onto your desktop which includes fw vendor name so that uh, you can grab that file and then uh, copy into your Pocophone F or whatever the Xiaomi device you're having and then flash this vendor and firmware file so that your system will be updated to the latest drivers so that all of the latest custom ROMs will be able to uh, flash it without any kind of error so I'm gonna be uh, let it finish so you can see it's gonna take a lot of time just gonna go ahead wait for a few more minutes so sit back and relax as you can see it says all done message now once you see this message just gonna go back to the desktop and boom you can see as I told you right this is the file uh, which is actually a uh, contains the latest drivers for your specific device so just gonna go ahead and copy this file to your Pocophone FWIN if you see any kind of error 7 issue flash it first and then flash the Android 10 ROM so that's it guys this is how you can create your own vendor and a firmware file uh, for your a specific Xiaomi device. Now switching back to camera view. All right guys, as you can see, my installation is successful and I don't have to flash any kind of vendor and firmware. I already have installed it and that's why I'm seeing this successful message here. So if you see any kind of error seven warnings again, I'm telling you again so just gonna go ahead and flash the latest vendor and firmware file first and then install the Android 10 next so that you're gonna see a hassle-free installation without any kind of warning so this is how uh, you can update your pixel ROM from Android 9 to Android 10 without wiping any internal storage so once you see the successful message just gonna go ahead and tap on the reboot system and your phone should boot into Android 10 without any boot loops or any kind of thing. So yeah guys, so that's it. I hope uh, you like this video. So if in case you love this video, just gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So thanks for watching guys. This has been KSK Royal. Peace out.